Hello everyone and welcome to the Gunning Gallade and welcome to another episode of, well, the good times. Sure, perhaps, why not? I have decided, uh, on my way home from work today, a little pierogi here, joining us for the fiesta, uh, I decided to grab this Raichu GX Full Art promo, which features a lot of Shining Legends cards, a special Rainbow Pikachu and all that jazz. Look at the little artwork of Raichu. And I love it. I just decided and that actually another thing I decided is that I'm going to do a little series. Uh, some of you who have been following me for a while would recall that there was a series I did during Fates Collide where I was kind of obsessed with trying to get my hands on a full art Kingdra because that was one of my favorite artworks in that set and I eventually got it. It was a really funny day, and if you want to watch that video, I'd recommend scrolling through the archives of the Gun and Gallade on Instagram. Well, the point is that uh, I really want to grab uh, the full art Leafeon from Ultra Prism and still the full art uh, Secret Rare or Rainbow Rare Charizard from Burning Shadows. So now every once in a while, I'm just gonna grab some packs and hope for the best and see how long my fortune and patience lasts. But for now, of course, Shining Legends, I have this really, 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 really cool Raichu coin, which I think I'm gonna use in my decks, uh, depending on whatever next one I build. And of course, here's the Jumbo Raichu, and I'm just gonna put it on top of Pikachu because I like Raichu more than Pikachu, um, and here, of course, are the promos. Once again, here's a Pikachu promo and this full on Raichu. That's a happy Raichu. I really, really like it. And uh, let's get on to the good stuff. Of course, got some packs to crack a lack for you. We have five Shining Legends packs. And of course, Ultra Prism for that. Perhaps, who knows, maybe the Leafeon will be uh, something that presents itself to me and uh, we get over with that quickly but anyways for now let's go with shining legends and of course episode one of chasing leafeon maybe that's that'll be what i call it so here we go first pack haven't opened shining legends since uh well not that long ago of course i had that promo from a few days ago and this is a set where every single pack has a hollow at least uh, love to give me a shining, shining Mew, but or the Entei or the Raichu Rainbow Rare. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, Lidden Totodile here is uh, one of my favorite artworks. Stunfisk, Ivasaur, happy little Ivasaur, oh happy little Bulbasaur. Leaf uh, or Grass type Energy, Lifeheart, Energy Retrieval, Incineroar. The Reverse Hall is a Purloin, and the first Hollow is a Reshiram. Uh, by Tokia, who is my favorite illustrator. Very cool. All right. And if you've been wondering what my favorite cards are, or not favorite cards, but favorite Pokemon in general, I have a top four now. Uh, and of course, Gallade would be my favorite one. If I, I was kind of thinking from the perspective of if uh, I was really in a Pokemon journey, where would I be? And I would definitely say I would have Gallade on my side. I would have... Um, I would have Octillery. Octillery is one of my favorites too. I would definitely have with me also, I was just thinking about this on my way, um, what was it? Oh boy. Scraggy, it will come to me. Come on. Uh, there's Gallade, Octillery. Oh, the Raichu, Raichu, and, um, and Charmeleon. And I think when I find this, I wrote a letter to my dad once upon a time ago uh, during the days of Gen 1 Larvesta and a Raikou Hollow by Misuhiro Arita. Very cool. Uh, I always trust his art. Um, but anyways, I wrote a letter to my dad and I found this uh, actually some time ago. And I... I actually drew the base set Charmeleon, and I think that had to be one of my favorite cards from days gone by. So I thought to myself, you know what, I'd love to have a Charmeleon. You know the process when you're trying to make your squad grow. Sometimes it's not about having them all fully evolved, but the process of evolution. So Charmeleon, that would be my fourth favorite before it became an awesome Charizard. All right, uh, Pokemon Breeder, Spiritomb. Oops, and we have Volcarona, and then we have a Stunfisk, just being useless, and the rare is another Reshiram, so 
We have uh, three hollows so far, which is cool, but no Shining Legends, no awesome full arts. Sun and Moon full arts, you really jingled my jangles with this, uh, this set. I was also doing some research recently into uh, some of the sets that are, well, potentially going to increase in value. And I would definitely say, uh, get your eyes out there for um, Breakpoint and Breakthrough. I believe those are sets that did not get reprinted uh, when, when Pokemon went a little crazy last year, which caused Roaring Skies to decrease in value. So, if you are a collector, I recommend you trying to see what you can get with that. How is the Rare Reverse Hollow? And, oh, nice! We have a GX, and it's Zoroark GX. It's one of the more valuable ones in the set. Of course, the uh, ability here, trade. Once during your turn, you may discard a card from your hand. If you do, draw two cards. That's very useful. Uh, Riotous Beating. This attack does 20 damage for each of your Pokemon in play. Wow, not too bad. And Trickster GX, uh, um, choose one of your opponent's Pokemon's attacks and use it as this attack. Well, uh, that could be very troublesome in the TCG. So last pack, we have Mewtwo on the artwork. Let's find out what happens if there's anything, any other tricks up the sleeve. Here we go. Well, it's technically not the last pack, but you know what I mean. Can't wait to crack a like some Ultra Prism. So here we go. Ivasaur, kicking us off. We got Jinx. We have Minin. We have Torkoal. I like that Torkoal. Just, just being a little Torkoal. All right. Psychic type energy. How? Really useful trainer. Warp energy. Floatzel. Just stumping away on the shoreline. Volcarona is the uncommon reverse hollow, and the rare is a Verizian hollow. Which is, uh, okay, so that was not too bad, that was okay, uh, for the Raichu GX box. It was okay, but I'm glad to, uh, to add a Zoroark to my collection. And now we get on with the Ultra Prism Packs, and we'll find out what is hiding in here. Okay, so, we have Drifloon. Nice. If you uh, missed my video the other day, I recommend you check it out. I got a pretty awesome pull. Oh, Execute. This is one of my favorite artworks in the set, without a doubt. Then we have Lickitung. We have the Psychic Energy. Manaphy. Cynthia. Oh, this is a really good card. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw six cards. This is a valuable card. <clears throat> without a doubt, look at this Grottle. A oh, Grottle. Nice. Heatran is the rare reverse hollow and the rare... Ooh, nice! A hollow Infernape. Very unique artwork. Pretty serious there. Infernape is... A Pokemon which I consider to be quite cool. And I'm still learning the names of uh, the Necrozma versions. This is the... I think that's Dawn Wings. Correct me if I am incorrect on that one. But that's what I believe it is. And I actually, you know what? I, I've been looking at some of the booster boxes for the set. The pull rates are actually pretty solid. I think you should get a hit almost one every two packs. Uh, I believe that is what the ratio is. Pissimian, Shinx, oh, Car Carnivine. Looking, that's kind of scary. I used to be a big fan of Venus flytraps once upon a time. Electric Memory, very nice looker. All right there. Uh, draw three cards from the bottom of your deck. That's okay. Unit Energy is the uh, Reverse Hollow, and the Rare is a Magmortar. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Two Hollows. That's uh, interesting. Rare. Very rare to get, well, almost str straight Hollows uh, from all the packs. So maybe this one will be an absolute dud. I hope not. I would hope not. I'd love to get me some more Full Art Madness. And we shall probably continue on this Leafeon hunt, but this is fun. You get to join me on this. We have Gibble in the last pack. Electabuzz. Chimchar. That's really nice. Pachirisu. Alolan Sandshrew. Fire Energy. Whoops. I got a little excited. Cosmem, the most unexciting artwork ever. Bronzong. Fire Memory. Morallel is the reverse holo, and that's a common card. And the final card is a Mo Rotom. Um, okay, what does uh, what does the ability do? If you have nine or more Pokemon tool cards in your discard pile, ignore all energy in the attack cost of each of this Pokemon's attacks. All right, that's uh, that's kind of decent. Discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. That's kind of cool for a basic card to. Uh, 
Probably not the number one to that everyone's using in their decks, but still, I'd say it would do some damage. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Here are some of the, uh, the artworks I found to be intriguing, and let's see. At least I technically got a full art. Look at the happy Raichu. All right, we have Magmortar, which was such a really unique artwork in my opinion. Infernape, Virizion, of course, from Shining Legends, Zoroark GX, Raikou, Reshiram, and of course, this, this awesome full art Raichu GX. Well, you know what to do. Uh, please subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like. It always helps me out. And if you want more, check out the Gunning Gallade on Instagram, Gunning underscore Gallade, of course. And uh, stay tuned as I continue on this polka journey. Until the next time, bye for now.